G'day guys, Matty from Enerdrive and today we're going to be going through programming of our AC charger. So Enerdrive do have a 20, 40 and 60, the exact same programming steps to follow through those ones. So all we need to do is have our AC plugged into the bottom of it and that'll allow the unit to power up so that way we can go into programming it. So all we need to do is just press and hold the menu button till the battery type start flashing at the top. So at the moment it's set on AGM, what we're going to do is just use the select button to go across to lithium and we'll just press the set button to go into that one. So at the moment our voltage is set to 14 volts. So to suit our lithium battery, we'll want to just up that to 14.4 just using the select button. So once we're on 14.4, we'll just press the set button to go into there. And then we can adjust our current output. So to suit our lithium battery that we're gonna be charging, we'll just up that one to 40 amps. And then once we're on there, we'll just press the set button to lock that one in. And then we have our L setting here. So our L setting is to transition the charger into float mode that'll support the loads that we have. So at the moment, we're gonna have a fridge and lights and stuff like that running. So we're just gonna up this one to eight amps, which will support those loads or transition the charger into flight mode sooner. So once we're on that one, we'll just press the set button. So now we're gonna be into banks two and three. So for this one, it's perfectly designed for motorhomes and boats applications to be able to charge the start batteries or even the generator batteries. So those chemistries are AGM. So we'll just press the set button to go into that one. Dependent on the size of your start batteries will depend on what current output you're using for this charger. So it's perfectly suited to go up to 40 for those batteries. And then once we're on that one, we'll just press the set button again to lock that in. And then the L setting is previously described. So we'll just press the set button to lock that one. And that's our programming done. To get out of the programming, all you need to do is just press the menu button once and that's all the programming done. So thanks guys for watching. There's going to be heaps more videos coming out. So like and subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Cheers guys.